fight commentary breakdowns. I'm here with Dean. You guys have seen him before. Here is Xu Xiaodong. This was 2018 when he went viral in the West. So before this, he knocked the F out. Before I explain that, you see that guy jumping into the ring? Yeah. You saw that, right? Yeah. Um, that was an MMA coach. Basically, um, the Wing Chun people are trying to start smack with the MMA people mm -hmm. because they're like, we don't want to fight in the ring. You guys are scared. Fight us on the ground. So that, that's the Wing Chun people's excuse right now. So this MMA guy, guy's like, let's just go right now. That's why he jumped into the ring. So anyways, backking up, um, 2017, Shu Shadow knocked out that first Tai Chi master mm -hmm. that went viral. Mm -hmm. So he then got censored a little bit. Social media got taken down and everything. This was the first fight after that. This was the first official fight after that incident. So after the censorship, yeah, began. after the censorship began, after he um, knocked out Lele, the Tai Chi guy. So Did he paint his face in that. This was before he had to paint his face. So in late 2018, that's when he fought that court case and he lost against mm -hmm. another Tai Chi master. So this is Ding Hao. This is the student of the master that claims to be a third generation Ip Man lineage. Mm -hmm. So he technically is fourth generation Ip Man lineage. The two of them apparently started smack talking Xu Xiaodong saying, you better fight me or else. So it wasn't like Xu Xiaodong wanted, Xu Xiaodong has called them out, but I think they were the ones that initiated, they wanted uh -huh. to fight Xu Xiaodong. And uh, Ip Man is <clears throat> Bruce Lee's lineage, Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, exactly. So Ip Man was Bruce Lee's um, Master, yeah, master, right? And then, so the guy that trains this guy, Ding Hao, yeah, so he is under the same lineage. His master is apparently under the same lineage. Again, you know, some of these things are disputed. This is Shu Xiaodong looking like he's about to kick some butt. So for viewers, you probably saw this match on Fight Commentary Breakdowns back in 2018. When we put it on Fight Commentary Breakdowns back in the day, it was. We started at the fight, and if you remember, the fight was on the ground. So let's figure out why they didn't hold it in the ring. I think this is one of the funniest parts. I might even turn up the volume a little. The guy in glasses, um, that announcer dude, has been part of a lot of controversy, and I'll explain to you afterwards. Ding Hall looking cocky. <laughs> so now the two referees are coming up. So shoot, I don't getting ready with this rash guard. Um, Wing Chun fighter, of course, has his pajama. By the way, guys, um, I'm, I'm watching with Dean Rosenwald. You've seen him before, but Santa Monica Striking. He is the head coach of Santa Monica Striking. What up? He's trained Muay Thai. He's trained Bukator. He's trained Lethway. So, you know, he's a striking coach, and this fight is a striking fight. Xu Xiaodong versus Ding Hao is a striking fight. Mm. It stops on the ground, even though Xu Xiaodong is an MMA fighter. So, I guess the Wing Chun guys didn't want to get ground and pounded, so they're like, okay, we will strike with you. So the rules are there's no ground. Yeah, no ground and pound. You can throw, you can punch, you can kick, but no ground. Elbows, knees? Or? Yeah, elbows and knees. Okay. So it's basically, I guess, full Muay Thai rules kind of. Gotcha. Yeah, or f full Sanda rules maybe is better. With all throws. Yeah, with all throws. So like kind Muay of Thai sanda, with Muay all throws. Yeah. So in China, it would be Sanda rules. I love how these rules they just get made up. Yeah, just get made up. Left and right Left for and different right. styles. Yeah. Like tension versus... Uh, Tension versus Mayweather. Yeah. Oh, that was a pretty funny fight. At this point, the suspense must be killing the audience, much like the suspense is killing me right now. So, <clears throat> the guy's asking, do you guys want to see the fight? So, he's like, uh, all right, nobody crowd up. Only look at the screen. I guess there's a screen right there. He's, I guess they're afraid of a riot or something. They're afraid of like an MMA versus traditional Chinese martial art like Right, or like people fight each other. That girl was part of Xu Xiaodong's crew for a while. Um, there were like seven Tai Chi people that tried to intimidate Xu Xiaodong, and she caught it all on camera. <laughs> so, see, Ding Hao, Ding Hao's on the ground. Ding Hao's like, I don't want to fight in the ring. I want to fight you on the ground because that's when our Wing Chun's gonna work the best. <laughs> I, I don't understand that thought process. <laughs> yeah, I don't. What's either. the difference if there's ropes around? Yeah, you? and so. So the the, the, um, the announcer keeps saying, do you guys want to watch it? Well, you guys want to watch it, do this. So he's trying to tell the press crew to kind of give them space to fight. So see, they're moving the drums. <laughs> For those of you watching, man, this was all the BS that happened before the fight. Isn't this crazy? So so um, Ding Hao was like, I want to fight you on the ground. Yeah. And, and Zhu Zhaodong was just like, shit, sure. I don't care. Sure, yeah, I don't care. I'll beat you. Yeah. Shadong's always had that mentality, you know, he's like, you're a fraud, just any rules, just don't bring a gun, you can bite me, you can do whatever, just don't bring a gun, and don't bring a knife, and we'll fight. 
So, Ding Hao, um, before this, there is footage of him, like, fighting Kyokushin guys and a Taekwondo guy. How'd he do? Um, he did pretty well. He actually won. Really? Against Kyokushin? Yeah. Kyokushin's full contact. It's full contact, but it's, like, Chinese Kyokushin fighters. So, maybe they weren't the best fighters, you know. Because I've sparred some Kyokushin used, guys. And they were good. They were great. So, you know, yeah. um... Taekwondo is really big in China, so there's some very good Taekwondo fighters, but I don't know how many good Kyokushin fighters there are in China. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's, it also has a stigma of being a Japanese martial art, so I think that's why Taekwondo took off in China, because, you know, a lot of traditional Chinese martial arts were kind of like on not really doing well, so like Taekwondo swooped in and captured a lot of these young kids mm -hmm. wanted to yeah. learn. There's a gym, have you ever been up on Pico, the karate gym? It's called Goju Ryu. Yes, right near yeah. Virginia Park, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, I yes. used to, I, I, uh, they, they let me train there for free wow. uh, as like a Muay Thai practitioner to learn their style of karate. And there's wow. this one dude there, Derek, mm -hmm. this Kyokushin dude. Mm -hmm. We sparred a lot. It was very good. Wow. So I don't know why they're they're frisking them. <laughs> this is all the behind the scenes drama we didn't see the first time. Look at this. By the way, guys, this was on Shu Xiaodong's channel. He probably took it from somewhere, I guess, City Fighting's The League or whatever. <laughs> um, but um, go follow Shu Xiaodong's channel. I'm sure every single person who follows Fight Commentary Breakdowns probably follows Shu Xiaodong. But in case you don't, go follow him. See, they're frisking them, I guess. Make sure they don't have, like, in Chinese, the word is an si, like hidden weapons. <laughs> He's not going to throw a dart or something. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm checking everywhere. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what? Yeah, that's kind of pointless. Yep. Yeah. But it's like a it's like a very Chinese type of thing, like in old Chinese like kung fu competitions in like the fifteen hundreds. They probably would like throw like darts and stuff or throw shurikens or something. So, are they gonna touch gloves? Oh come on! Yeah, he, he's, he's got the Wing Chun. He's thing. doing the come. That's the yeah. that's that Bruce Lee. Yeah, the shit. Bruce Lee thing. Look at Get him stepping. Um, this referee is a Shui Jiao guy. He's a wrestler. Oh, really? So, yeah, he's a he's a pretty famous Chinese wrestler. So, look at Shiyoda with his chin sticking out. He's like, that's um, probably a little... Oh, there they go, there they go. Here's the round one. Okay, look at that. Oh, think how comes he's with this Wing no Chun gloves combos. On. I know, no because gloves. gloves interfere with Wing Chun, you know? Oh, Shiyoda's like, nope, nope. Just eating the punches. <laughs> Easy <like> hip toss. <laughs> He just ate like 10 shots yeah. with no gloves to the yeah. face and yeah. just shook his head. He's like, I don't care. <laughs> and then, um, look at that. Ding Hao. Ding Hao's losing a little confidence. You can see already in his body language. Oh, here he goes. He's open hand strikes, bro. Yeah. What are you doing? Throw a fist. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, oh look at like, Shiyo no. Oh, man. This referee doing a good job. He is actually. Yeah. I like the when they're just a little bit excessive. It's actually good. Yeah, yeah. Like it. Um. So Ding Hao at this point still has his Wing Chun stance. Hasn't given up on his Wing Chun yet. Good throwing kick. He's so nervous. Yeah, oh. yeah. Oof. I guess he ate. He ate a great cross. Yeah, exactly. Did he stomp on him after? Um. I think if you watch it from another angle, if you guys watch the original cut, you'll you'll see. Um. Uh, Shri Adon probably wanted to stomp on him. The ref actually took a dive and like dove over Ding Hao to prevent oh, Shri Adon from like doing he anything. On it. it did from oh, that no. angle. He changed his stance for a second. Yep. Ooh, look at that. Dude, Wing Chun guy got nothing anymore. Oh, Shri Adon trying to trip him. Yeah. Man, nope. Oh, man. Why is he fighting without gloves? That is stupid. It's, it's the number one excuse I see Wing Chun people say. Which is that gloves prevent you from doing all your trapping and all your chain punching and all your bridging not and MMA all that. Gloves, but not MMA exposed. gloves. Exactly. Yeah, look at look at Shiodon's MMA gloves, right? Yeah, exactly. Fingers are exposed. They're not big pillows on your hands. Did they call the fight? Not yet. I think they're going to give them what? a little bit of a chance. This is crazy. Yeah, it's like yeah. point sparring. Yeah, point sparring. Exactly. <laughs> see, see, he's back. And he's getting trashed. Yeah, getting trashed. Destroyed. What does he think? And he's going to knock him out? Like, what does he I actually guess, I guess he really thinks he's going to knock him out. So here they go. Oh, he changed his stance. Yeah. Close fist. Boom. One, two. Oh, he, he, he at least connected once to Xu Xiaodong's face. Oh. oh nice, knee. nice. Oh, right into the column. <laughs> he's bleeding, man. Oh, man. 
that I just it. I do have to say like these traditional martial artists that are always fighting Zhu Dong like they have like ridiculous heart. Yeah, they just they keep try. getting up. Yeah, they try. I guess yeah. because they're probably paid or something. They're like I have to put on a good show or something. I gotta get paid. I think it's because they're so devoted and like believe in their style so yeah, much. Potentially, they, they don't want to give up. Yeah, they don't. They can't accept that. This is just better. Yeah. If you notice, Xu Xiaodong is... um. Oh, it looks like they called it TKO. Called it TKO. He's leaking. Yeah. If, if you notice, what's interesting is that Xu Xiaodong grabbed his shirt and started hitting. Yeah. So I guess there was no rule because in most... In Muay Thai... I mean, Muay Thai, you, you don't have shirts no, on, right? Shirtless. But like in MMA, you're not allowed to grab someone's shirt. Yeah, but in Jiu-Jitsu, you use a gi. That's true. That's true. So, and he is wearing, um, Ding Hao is wearing kind of like, you know, stuff that has handles. Yeah. He's wearing a long sleeve shirt. That oh is, my God. Yeah. It's just got wrecked. Yeah. So that's, that's some replays. Man. I noticed Ding Hao looks where he hits. That's something he needs to, that, that was the rough dive earlier. <laughs> and, oh, that, that was just gnarly. Right yeah. There. That was like some movie yeah. fight. And this, this ref really did a good job. And, you yeah, know, he's very aware. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. He's like, he's almost oh, more man. tense than any of the fight. Look, look at how quickly he's. I know. Yeah. And then he pushes him away. Yeah. And now this is the really hilarious. Are you part. kidding me? They're kill still going. Yeah, they're still going. So I thought you said they called it TKO. They called it, but now they're gonna announce the winner. And here, here's where the really funny part. I, I won't spoil it for you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna spoil it. For you. Guys, by the way, Dean hasn't seen this, so that's why I had to show it to him. So, I haven't seen this long one. Yeah. I don't know what the referee's saying. So the ref rules it a draw. What? I know the the ref rules it a draw. <laughs> Look at his face. I know. Shu I know. Shu like, he's I like knew this smirking. would happen. Yeah, he's like, I knew this was happened. What? Yeah. So um, I interviewed Shu Xiaodong about this, and um, the the audio kind of got messed up, so I never aired it. But Shu Xiaodong told me. When he initially fought these guys, because of you know how BS some of this was, right? He thought they were actually going to rule that he was going to lose. Yeah. So he was prepared to go under. He was going to beat up Ding Hao, and then they're going to say Ding Hao won. But I guess the the people realized there's so many cameras, you couldn't just blatantly lie and say Ding Hao won. So they're like, okay, let's compromise. Let's say it was a draw. <laughs> that just makes China look I so know, bad. That makes China look so bad. And guys, we weren't aware of this in 2018 when we made that first video. It was in 2019. I dug up the interview with the host. So the guy who ruled it a draw. Okay, so this guy, there was an interview with him asking him, what the heck were you thinking? And that's when we found out it was ruled a draw. So now you guys have pieced it all together. Like from 2018, 2019, all the stuff we dug up. This is the full sequence of how it happened. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. If you want to get points for trying, I guess this is what you do. You claim you're a Wing Chun master. And uh, this word here is like the word for Wu, like um, martial. So it's Wu? so yeah, Wu. it's so ironic that it's like martial arts, and then you know there's like a little bit of a deceit going on here. Mm. And then um, in 2019, Ding Hao actually came out with a video challenging Xu Xiaodong to a rematch. What? Yeah, he said. I didn't KO you last time. You were lucky. This time I'm going to KO you. That's what Ding Hao said. How does he think that? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. He threw him into a column. Yeah. Um, most of the comments under the video were like, yeah, this guy, I think Xu Xiaodong needs to ground and pound him this time. <laughs> that was illegal, though. Yeah. Yeah. So, wow. Dean, thank you so much for watching this with yeah, me. for sure. Yeah. It's fun, man. I've been wanting to show the full... In fact, um, this is actually not even the full version because it started with that guy rushing into the ring, right? So yeah. we missed a lot of that debate. Like originally, they were supposed to start in the ring. Great. And then that's why you see the Wing Chun side walks off. Like, no, we're not fighting in the ring. It's not real. That's why this guy jumped in, right? Yeah. So this is actually only halfway. Like the whole drama was like 30 minutes. Wow. So I actually didn't realize that we're still not showing the full version. <laughs> we're, we're only showing like half of the full version. That's crazy. Yeah, so, yeah, that so was... you guys going to wait till the day of to say, I don't want to fight in a yeah, ring? Yeah, exactly. I guess, from a psychology perspective, like, maybe we'll throw them off. Yeah. 
But, you know, MMA guys prepare everywhere. I don't think that he could be thrown off. Yeah. He's not scared of him. Yeah, he's not th- scared of them. And, you know, he's already been censored and, like, his livelihood's almost taken away. So, in his mind, it's like, I'm just going to beat you guys. I'm just going to beat you guys. He's, like, world famous. Yeah, now so he's world he still, famous. Like, struggling? I don't think he's struggling as much. And, in fact, after he beat that Japanese fighter, Yoshiro, I think the Chinese government really started liking him. Because, oh. like, you know, he, he beat a professional Japanese fighter. That's good. Yeah. Good for him. Exactly. So, guys, this was Fight Commentary Breakdowns. Um, go follow Dean also. Dean. By the way, guys, also, besides go following him, if you guys want to take lessons from him, he's taking students. Yeah. So, in the Santa Monica area, if you live in anywhere in L.A., in San Gabriel Valley, in Ventura County or something, you can, or Orange County, you can come up and... You can hit me up at uh, Coach Dean Perry yeah. on Instagram. Too. Coach Dean Perry on Instagram. Yeah. So, guys, this was Fight Commentary Breakdowns. Thank Thanks, you so Jerry. much, guys. Thanks, guys.